please remember to post a like, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you can always get my latest travel videos. Happy Tuesday morning from Kyoto, Japan. Kyoto was the capital of Japan from year 794 to 1868, when in 1868 was moved to Tokyo. Kyoto's population is 1.4 million, however, it still remains the cultural and religious capital of Japan even today. The Ashari Maya bamboo forest in Kyoto is really a spectacular sight to see. It's exactly what it says. It's a bamboo forest. It's very tranquil. You can really feel the Zen once you're actually in here. The Ashari Maya bamboo forest covers an area of 16 square kilometers. It's open 24 hours and admission is free. A major part of this forest is made up of the Maso bamboo, a giant bamboo species native to China and Taiwan. More Japanese cherry blossoms in full bloom. These are obviously pink. There are some white ones over there that are about to blossom. This is a Japanese cemetery. I wanted to show you a bonsai tree. The owner of this house has carefully manicured and groomed this tree to look like this. This is the neighborhood of Gion, G-I-O-N. And uh, it's an ancient neighborhood in Kyoto. And it's a very traditionally Japanese neighborhood. And it's... Um, where geisha girls were first trained and they're still trained today. The Guillaume neighborhood has some pretty side streets and alleyways. Here are three girls that have been trained in the geisha style. They're geisha girls. Yeah, yeah. Two more geisha girls. <laughs> Thank you. This is the Yasaka Shrine in Guillaume in Kyoto. The Yasaka Shrine in Gion, Kyoto is a Shinto shrine dedicated to the Susanu. It was built in the year 656 and was originally called Gion Shrine. Very interesting form of worship. Um, there is no deity, there is no image of the Lord Buddha. Um, very interesting. More of the Yasaka Shrine. More of the Yasaka Shrine. This is the exit. I've seen worshippers uh, pull or push that rope so that the bell rings, but you can see there is no deity or image. This is typical, I guess, of Japanese religion. Gorgeous J Japanese traditional architecture in the main building of the shrine. Here are the priests, they're walking. Everyone had to clear a path for them. They're going into the main house. I uh, am at the Keikuji Temple and I had to pay admission for this so I hope uh, it's good and I hope that uh, you appreciate it. Well Japanese cherry blossom in full bloom. There's the Keikuji Temple and a beautiful pond right in the front. Originally a shogun's villa, Kinkakuji became a Buddhist temple when he died in 1397. The current temple was rebuilt in 1955 after being accidentally burned down by a novice monk in 1950. The Kinkakuji Temple is a Japanese designated national special historic site. Review of the beautiful temple with a bonsai tree in the foreground and also the pond. So two things, it looks golden but I don't think it's real gold and second is you can't go inside the building. 
seems like very zen place to be with beautiful grounds. You walk through the gardens of Keikuji, you see this beautiful shrine. Way to my next destination, I find myself in the city of Nara at the Nara Deer Park, which is, these are wild deers that come down and uh, that are fed by the people. There is a warning for tourists that these are wild deers. These deers are protected by the religious priests of Nara. Our next destination is Todaiji, which is a Buddhist temple and should have an icon of Buddha. This is the Todaiji. This is a spectacular large uh, temple. Todaiji means Eastern Great Temple. It was founded in the year 738 and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So because this is a Buddhist temple, it has a 15 meter tall statue of Buddha inside. Buddhist temples have a Buddha. Shinto temples don't have a Buddha. That's what I've learned. There you have a better view of this 15 meter tall Buddha. The Buddha statue or Daibutsu was completed in year 751. The face alone is over five meters or 17 feet tall. In the same temple, there are these bosat, bosatsus. Bosatsu is the Japanese transliteration of a Sanskrit word, which means someone on the road to enlightenment. Uh, they're not Buddhas, but they're students of Buddha. Thank you for watching my video of Kyoto today. Please subscribe, post a like, and hit the notification bell for future videos.